There's nothing like chilling with my girls. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, d Bose? What's up, y'all? What's up, everybody? It is time to do some wig tutorial videos. How is everybody doing out there in YouTube world? Okay. So, for one, it's fall here in Arizona. So, that's why I'm really happy because I got the balcony door open. So, excuse me if you hear some little chirping birds or some barking dogs because I got my balcony door open finally. For like months, I will keep it closed along with the blackout curtains because it gets so hot in my room. So I'm just so happy that it's just a nice, cool breeze and it's not so bright, bright, sunny. It's just like a relaxing, calm, peaceful outdoor scenery. Like I'm feeling it. I'm just like really feeling it. Y'all don't know how bad I'll be waiting for fall to get here, okay? When October hits, girl, let me tell you, I'll be so excited. When the end of October is here... Girl, that's the best time of the year out here, okay? But anyway, I hope you all are having a really great day whenever you're watching this afternoon, evening, late night, weekend, Monday through Friday at work, whatever you're doing. I hope you're having a really great day. Today's video is an RPG show with girl. And look, I am nail free. I'm really debating, should I go back and get my nails redone? But I'm, I'm just going to be honest and say this. It does feel really, really good to be nail free um because it's just so much easier they are jacked up looking so please excuse that on video please don't judge me because i will not judge you if you don't judge me we're just gonna start this video we're gonna start this video off with how your wig comes from rpg show okay fool me once fool me twice Shame. when you're hiding things might as well be lies can you I'm outside, waiting by the curb Too upset to drive, you getting no money We gon' get lit on this ride I look too damn good to fight Don't expect me to come home tonight Don't worry about me, see you in the morning Bet you never thought that I could leave Think I had about enough I mean, hold up, you could call me on my bluff I ain't coming to wait up Coming, don't wait up. Trying to get you to wake up. I ain't coming, don't wait up. Can't ignore my intuition, baby. I know you're typing every game you try to play. You know you could get replaced. Ay. Cause I won't track a frown, no dead weight. Hit up my girls. Pull up, I'm outside. Wait about the curb. Too upset to drive, you get no money So we gon' get lit on this ride I look too damn good tonight And I just wanna have a good time Don't worry about me, see you in the morning But you never thought that I would be Think I had about enough I mean, hold up, you could call me on my bluff I ain't coming, no wait up You gon' miss this body, too late for I'm sorry That you never thought so because the wig lace got tinted in the process of coloring the hair, I wasn't really able to lift the knots as I wanted to. Of course, they did come pre-bleached already slightly or deep, depending on what you chose at your time of option and checkout. I'm not really sure if these were slightly lightly bleached or deep. But I did notice uh, like some speckles in the unit 
And I try to be like a perfectionist, even though I'm not, I just want everything to be perfect because I really don't want people to know that I have a wig on. So I did bleach it, but I'm not really sure if it helped any, only because some of the actual hair dye did seep onto the lace. Like the lace is like this plum color right now. On deck, I do have the Bye Bye Lace Grid, which is available at Amazon as well as also Sam's Beauty. So this will help erase the grids and knots. Not 100%, but enough to where you can apply your foundation. But I do have the two colors that are available, which are HD Natural and HD Clear. I did try the HD Natural and it wasn't a color that was good for me for that particular wig. It just seemed like this one, the clear, was best for me. So first things first, you guys, before even applying the wig, you want to go ahead and clean your hairline off. You can either use a washcloth, some rubbing alcohol, or a nice baby wipe, which I'm going to be using right here. Just as long as you get the surface clean from any type of makeup, oils, or anything, just so that way your wig could adhere properly. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make a part in my unit prior to adhering the lace grid tape. It is stated that you should just put it on where you're going to do your parting at. And so I really wasn't sure where I wanted to do the parting and I wanted to make sure that it came out great. So the first thing I'm going to do is part the unit. Now RPG show gives plenty of parting. It says 13 by six, but it looks more than that. And at first I just made this small part and then I realized, girl, you got all this parting space. Why are you parting all the way in the front and not utilizing all of the lace wig cap that you can utilize so at first i did you know use my wax stick and part it here and then kind of like flatten the area down but then i realized that and so i did make the part deep to where i could part all the way through and just to do that i went ahead used the wax stick and used my hot comb just to train the hair you can also do this while the hair is wet after you co-wash and rinse it if you don't have a hot comb now here is the clear HD tape. This is the one that best suits me. Now you want to go ahead and cut it to the desired length of your part. You may not even have to use the whole width of it, you know, save as much as you can. But I'm just going to use the whole width of the tape just for the video purposes. And you want to make sure that you stick it directly onto the lace. Make sure to keep away from the direct hairline. You don't want it sitting right right at the hairline you want to have it pushed back a little bit and i'm just going to use the comb just to press nicely into the cap i did say directly onto the lace because i did notice in another video where i had it onto some of the fabric in the cap it kind of peeled up but if you have it directly on the lace this is what you'll get you'll have these grids covered up and you can also easily apply your foundation to it and this is what the inside should look like so just try to avoid it sitting anywhere on the inside of the cap once it sits on the tape excuse me the lace directly it's easily going to stay down now, as you see right here i did have it pulled up the tape a little bit too far up it didn't take away from the wig it actually helped the hair stick down more because if you remember that particular side is sticky now so once you add your makeup to it it will definitely stick to the tape because the tape is sticky on the outside of the unit now just to customize my wig i want it to fit perfectly i don't want it to be overlapping my ear i did take my comb and part and then cut and this is what i have here it fits perfectly above my ear and because the wig is a custom excuse me and because the wig is a wig stock stock cap of course you're going to have to customize it to make it fit your particular head shape and i'm just going to go ahead and cut the lace off and you want to repeat that on both sides now because the lace has been tinted by the actual hair color unfortunately i'm going to have to put baby hairs to round this entire hairline perimeter had the lace not been tinted by the actual burgundy color of the unit, then the lace would have definitely been transparent and you wouldn't have been able to see it. But this is a mistake that happens sometimes when you are dyeing the hair. So it's always best to leave as much dark roots as you can possibly leave. So that way the lace does not get tinted with any type of dye. I'm not really sure how to remove this tint from the lace. I'm pretty sure there's a method if someone does know please leave that in the description box excuse me in the info or the comments below 
Now, as I stated, because the lace has been tinted and it's more or less this plum color, I'm going to have to give myself some baby hairs. I was so excited about this unit because I love everything that RPG Show does. And this color is banging, you guys. Like, I really do love this color a lot. And, you know, unfortunately, because of the lace on the tinting, it kind of like took away the invisible part of it. But we're going to make do with what we have. I do have a little bit of tricks up my sleeve hopefully you know now for one because the lace has been tinted it still is a good wig and i'm just going to style this to the best of my ability and you guys that know the rest from here i don't want to talk your ears off too much but you guys know the next steps from here on out here's the thing about the wig now for one because the dye got onto the lace it actually tinted the lace like this maroon burgundy-ish color whatever color this is is what the lace is now it's not so bad once I apply some of the even tinted lace to it that brings the color to a lighter version which made it a lot easier for me to be able to you know style now I did co-wash this unit um, after I bleached it of course and I did notice that the hair is bleeding so when I needed to allow it to air dry I had to put like a bucket in the tub underneath the hair as it drip so that way it doesn't stain my surface of my tub or anything like that I'm not really sure if it bleeds while wearing it because you know this is the first time I'll be wearing it but it definitely bleeds when you wash it. So, but other than that, this is 20 inches. You know, RPG shows 20 inches is more or less like 22, okay? It's very full, I like it still. I still like it, I just wish that the lace was not ruined by the actual hair dye, but you know, mistakes happen, it is what it is. But other than that, the hair came out good. I love the parting space that you get with their units. Very far back, girl, make you feel like you got your own hair out for the day, okay? Hello. But for the most part, you know, I try to come through as best as possible with this this lace um, and just, you know, try to doctor it up. This is like a really nice lengthy wig, so I'm feeling it. And I like the way it was easy to curl. I like the texture. The hair is not dried out or anything from the coloring. It's just the lace is a little bit off now. And on that note, a girl got to go. I love you all and I'll see y'all in the next video. 